Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. Today we will see standard 6 and subject signs in the chapter number 12, electricity and circuit. In the previous video we have seen up to main 9. Today we will see main 10. Answer the following questions in details. It carries 4 or 5 marks each. Now see the number 1. Describe the experiment to identify whether the given objects are electric conductors or insulators with proper figures. See the experiment is there. First of all, we will see the aim. To identify whether the given objects are electrical conductors or insulators. Apparatus and materials, torch, bulb, electric cell, insulating tape, pieces of conducting wire, rubber band, wood, strip, pencil, key, pen, refill, matchstick, safety pin, plastic, spoon, aluminium, wire, ebonite, rod. See the figure. See here. Here the electric cell is there. Then um, it's a positive terminal and it's a negative terminal. Now see here is the rubber band is there. And wire is connected. Okay. This one is the wire. And here the it's a breakdown. Okay. Now see the here the bulb is there. It's a torch bulb is there. Now see the procedure. Procedure is prepare an electric circuit as shown in the figure. Here the figure in, in the figure shown in this way you have to prepare the circuit. Keep enough distance between terminals A and B. See here is the terminals A and B. Here you have to keep the distance of the wire. Connect the given materials between terminals A and B one by one. Observe whether every time the bulb glows or not. Note down your observation in the following table. Now see the table is given. In the table, see, if we connect with the rubber, this both, uh, both A and B terminals are there that you have to connect it. The bulb glow or not? No. Why? It's an electrical it's a insulator wooden strip then also bulb not glowed why it's a insulator then pencil pencil also uh, covering is of wooden so it's a insulator key the bulb glows yes it's a conductor now see the pan refill the bulb not glow not glow and it's a insulator matchstick it's also not glow it's a insulator safety pin the bulb glows yes and it's a conductor plastic spoon no not glow bulb not glow and it's a insulator aluminium wire bulb glows yes and it's a conductor and ebonite rod bulb not glow no and it's a insulator now see the conclusion key safety pin and aluminium wire are the conductors of electricity are the conductors of electricity are the conductors of electricity see the number two prepare a simple electric circuit and explain it with the help of a diagram see first of all we will see the diagram okay here the cell is there is the positive terminal negative terminal electric cell then uh, it's uh, connected with a wire here is the rubber band and wire connected with the bulb and see it this so it means bulb glow now see the answer a circuit made by joining both the terminals means this one positive terminal negative terminal of a bulb by the help of two electric wires is called a simple circuit when all the components of the circuit are connected to each other the circuit gets completed and bulb glows if the wire from terminal of any one, the electric cell or the bulb is detached, detached, the circuit becomes open. So the bulb stops glowing. See the next page. Now see the activity. To construct an electric switch in an electric circuit, apparatus and materials, two drawing pins, safety pins, two wires and a small sheet of thermocol. Here is the simple switch. Procedure. Take a safety pin and a drawing pin. Safety pin and a drawing pin. 
Insert a drawing pin into the ring at one end of the safety pin and fix it on the thermocouple seat. Make sure that the safety pin can be rotated freely. Now fix the other drawing pin on the thermocouple seat in such a way that the free end of the safety pin can touch it. The safety pin fixed in this way would be your switch. Now make a circuit by connecting an electric cell and a bulb with this switch as shown in the figure B. See here, safety pin is there. Okay, an electric circuit with a switch and here is the switch is there. Elec uh, it's a electric cell is there. Rotate the safety pin so that it freely and touches the other drawing pin. Observe the bulb. Now move the safety pin away. Does the bulb continue to glow? No. Observation and understanding. When the safety pin touches both the drawing pins, it wills, it fills the gaps between them and completes the circuit. This condition is called the switch on. When the free end of the safety pin is removed away from the drawing pin, the circuit becomes discontinuous and the condition is known as the switch off. Conclusion is that a switch is used to turn on or turn off bulb or other electric equipment. Here your chapter is completed and we will see the next chapter, chapter number 13 in the next video. Stay safe, stay healthy. Okay, bye.